Today's how-to is a great one, uh, but I can't take the credit for it. Uh, this was originally posted on Salesforce Ben by uh, David Claiborne. David is a technology consultant uh, focused on Salesforce. So I will link his uh, original article uh, on Salesforce Ben below. And uh, yeah, this is where I took the motivation to do uh, this week's uh, Salesforce How To Thursday. So what are we going to do is change this typical login, Salesforce login page with the left side pane having your username and password and the right side having, you know, Salesforce uh, marketing or whatever they choose to do so. We're going to change this right pane uh as such that it will display your company's or own personal twitter feed so i think this is a pretty cool uh pretty cool thing so by displaying your twitter feed you know it keeps an updated list of uh whatever tweets you or your company sends out okay let's uh, dive in and find out how to achieve this let's do it Okay, so we will log into our dev instance. And the trick to this one is uh, in order for the Twitter feed to appear on your login page, uh, we essentially need to do a new Visual Force page. So uh, under setup, what you'll want to do is type in visual and access Visual Force pages. We will create a new one and this will be the title of our page. Down here, you'll want to um, copy and paste the code that was included in the notes below. Once you have the code pasted, you'll want to change this uh, particular handle here. In my case, I'm going to point it to my Twitter feed, which is 21 knots. And then as the default text, I'm going to change this to 21 knots Twitter feed. All right, next thing you wanna do is save it. All right, label for a visual force page cannot contain spaces. So go ahead and put underscores in there. Save it, preview, and great. The visual force page actually goes and pulls the Twitter feed. So this piece works. back into our Visual Force page. Let's edit and check this option here, available for Lightning Experience, Experience Builder Sites, and the mobile app. Click on Save. And fantastic. Now, by checking this option here, you're able to add your Twitter feed uh, within any lightning record pages, should you want to do so. Uh, but in our scenario, what we want to do is create the uh, site that hosts the Twitter feed page. So when you have your login screen, uh, you have your login information on the left side and your Twitter feed on the right side. So let's do that next. Still under setup, uh, we're going to go under sites. 
Okay, what we want to do here, um, since this is our first site, uh, we're going to call it Talk Twitter Feed. Let's check to see if it's available. It is. You can basically name this uh, anything you want. Uh, make sure you have read and accepted the terms of use and register the site domain. Click on OK with the pop-up here. OK. So now we've got our domain name uh, over here. What we want to do here is create a new site that will host our Twitter feed, and then we'll use that site uh, on the right side pane of our login page. So we'll click on new. And this site label will be Twitter feed. This can have spaces in it. Displays. Twitter feed. Here's the name. Uh, and then the default web address. Let's just call this Twitter feed. Active site homepage is a required field. Again, this one is uh, sensitive, so let's not put any spaces. And then this last step here, the clickjack protection level, what we need to do here is uh, change it to allow framing by any page, no protection. If you don't do this step, unfortunately, uh, it will not work. So go ahead and select this value. And we're ready to save the site. Once the site is saved, um, if we created a domain like we did in this particular example here, um, it might take a while for the domain to register. Uh, so uh, we'll wait a little bit here. But once your site is saved, you can go back to uh, the list of sites and we'll want to activate our particular page. And now uh, let's make sure to copy down this uh, site URL. Again, the URL might not be valid yet because this talk Twitter feed site registration uh, takes uh, a little time to register. So uh, let's be patient. Uh, you know, it can take up to an hour to do so. But uh, once we do have this site URL resolving, let's copy the link address. The next step is to do some authentication configuration. So we do this under my domain. Type in my domain in the uh, quick search. Access it. And here's my domain information. If you don't have this particular uh, uh, my domain set up, uh, go ahead and configure. So you have, you know, instead of having the login.salesforce.com, you'll have the name of your company. Um, uh, it looks better and it's needed for this particular Twitter feed to work. So let's scroll down to authentication configuration and select edit. And this is where we uh, put a right frame URL uh, for the, we paste the URL that we've copied in the previous step. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to save it. Aha. Uh -huh. So make sure this protocol here reads, reads HTTPS. Let's save it. There we go. Now, 
if uh, we followed the instructions correctly and I log out, our login page should now have the Twitter feed on the right side. And here we go. I think this looks great. And this concludes today's how-to. Hope you enjoy it. Um, if you did, please uh, subscribe. Uh, it helps the channel a lot. And if you have any suggestions of anything related to Salesforce you'd like to uh, see me do a video on, please leave those suggestions and uh, comments in the section below. Have a great day and thanks for watching.